Hey guys, what's up? This is Banana Guess, and today I'm going to show you guys how to take any audio file and convert it into something that can be played as a ringtone or a text tone on your phone. Um, the audio file that I am going to be using is from Impractical Jokers. It's um, one of the characters is always yelling out Larry whenever he can. So I, I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, whoopsies. I'm going to take this program. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to audio. And usually you would just select speakers. Um, but I'm going to have to select the Elgato because I have it plugged in. So I select both of those, make sure they're checked off. Then I would I select the chord, doesn't matter what your parameter is, the smaller the better to be honest because it loads faster. Here we go, let's just move it out of the way. Okay. Um, now we're going to hit record. Do one. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna so I'm gonna select this one. It's the most recent one, and I'm gonna send it to the encoder. Um, this program comes with both the screen capture and the encoder itself because it's just, it kind of stinks, but you gotta encode, re-encode the file because it's not a read normal readable format format. Now you could do it online, but I just find this one to be pretty easy. So. All we're going to do is we're going to go to encoding for devices and we're going to select either 1080 or 720, hit apply. Um, then uh, all we have to do go to, when you go to video and then you're going to leave most of this the same. Just try to copy what mine says. The mode is CBR1 pass, frame rate source, so it stays the same how it was. And, you know, that. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to encode this. Okay, now where this con this is the tricky part. What's going to happen is somewhere in your documents is going to be all the things that you'd saved from this program. Now, mine. After doing a little searching around, I found out that it's in for me. It's in users and OneDrive and documents, and then it's an expression, and it is in the output. So you want to find the one closest to your time. It's like nine o'clock in the morning for me. Here it is. I'm gonna open this one up, and here's my here's my um, video. Now this is encoded as a normal file that can be played on like Windows Movie Maker or some kind of normal video player. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is open up Windows Movie Maker. Now this is remember this is just my way. There probably are easier ways to do this, but I'm just showing you uh, a simple way for if you're simple like me. So go back to wherever that was located. And take open your file in Windows Movie Maker. Um, now this is gonna prepare your files, blah blah blah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the audio portion that has the audio that you want. Now I think it was later in for me. Sandwich. So it was right here. Let's slow it down. Let's see if we can find it. Hang on, let's try. Right there. Okay. So now it's right about here. I'm going to split this. I'm going to get rid of this. So now we have that starting Larry. Then I'm going to split this here, get rid of this part. Now once this is here, I'm going to save movie. And I'm going to, it's usually at the bottom. You're going to save audio only. Then you're going to want to go to um, wherever you want to really store it. I'm going to store it. Let's say I'm going to start at my desktop. Just so it's easier for me to show you guys. Uh, let's do new folder. And let's do Larry sound effect. Okay. Now we want to save it in Larry sound effect. So we're going to save this audio file. The next step is we're going to want to go to... Um, Oops. Uh, we're going to want to go to Mozilla or Google or wherever, and you're going to want to go to this website, Zamzar. Then you're going to just choose the file that you want to um, that you want to convert. Because what happens is I, Apple reads the ringtones as M M four Rs. So what we're going to do is convert it from the M normal file to an M four R. So we're going to find it. Let's see. It is blur blur blur. Where's Larry? We're looking for Larry. Have anyone seen Larry? Okay, Larry. Larry. Okay, so now we find this file right here. 
Then we're going to put, we're going to convert this into M4R. Then we're going to put in our email. Um, if you want, you can just block them after this, but I haven't noticed any kind of spam thing with that. Convert them. Then you're going to just go to your email. Mine's at AOL. Derp, derp. Okay, and the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Zamzar, this email right here, and click on this link, and download this. Now this is just an audio file. So, open up this folder right here. Uh, we're going to rename this Larry Sound, okay? And we're going to move this to desktop. We're going to move it to Larry Sound Effect folder again. Now you're going to want to open up iTunes. Okay, once iTunes is open, you're going to go to Tones. On this little icon, you're going to hit Tones. And then you're going to open up um, you're going to open up that desktop, that Larry Sound Effect. And we're going to just drag. Now remember, I renamed this one. This is the M4A file. M4R file, I'm sorry. And we're going to link it into here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go, no, you're going to plug in your device. I plugged in my phone. Uh, we're going to go to, now when we're on settings, we're going to make sure that we go to music and sync music. And when we go to tones, we're going to make sure we do sync all tones, okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to just hit the sync button. Now, the reason that that one cannot be found is because I might have accidentally deleted the original folder, that it, like the original song in my documents, because I'm only creating a link. Remember it said create link when I moved it over? So, I'm going to make sure you don't accidentally delete or move that document from wherever you put it in. Alright, so uh, now when I go on my phone, I have in my settings... Now, remember this is... Right now I put it in tones, and tones are different than music. So, I'm going to go over to my settings. Oops, this is settings, okay. And I'm going to go to sounds, and when I go to text tone, here we go, we got the Larry sound. Here we go. So, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. I mean, I didn't exactly use the best sound, sound file that I could have used. I didn't really take a lot of time to like get the right, the perfect time for it. But if you take your time and you really cut it out with that, you know, when you go to Music Maker, you got to cut it out perfectly. You gotta use a split in just the right spot, you know, scroll it around little by little, trying to find the exact time, and then splitting it or trimming it. And then you gotta just right-click the portion, like let's say I split here, I see this, I delete this part, and now I have this. And then, right here, I gotta split this and delete this part. You know, it's kind of a, it's a little process, but it's really cool once you get to this. And it's really nice to have like a custom text tone for totally free on, um, on your phone. Alright, so that's all for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. If this was too confusing, you know, like I said, just leave it in the comments, and I'll definitely go over it with you guys. Um, uh, if, you really, if you guys enjoyed it, or you think this could help someone else, please drop a like, maybe subscribe. It really helps, and uh, alright, guys, that's all for now. Thanks.